Some Central Texans are tired of waiting for auto manufacturers to start producing all electric vehicles. Instead, they're taking charge and taking matters into their own hands. Brian Lasseter bought a used Saturn just so he could rip out its guts and fill it with this. Six batteries in front, eight batteries underneath the trunk, and four batteries in the trunk. It's a smooth, very quiet ride with just a whir under the hood. And it always runs on empty. He gets 45 miles per charge, enough to get back and forth from work, buy groceries, and run errands. It's kind of like driving a giant golf cart. He paid $25,000 for the used car and conversion and says it's worth it. Well, it depends on your definition of cost and effective. So my wife and I looked at it, and the, uh, the total cost of this vehicle is still less than, than buying a new Prius. Plus, he doesn't have to pay for gas. And since it's a used car, it doesn't depreciate as quickly as a new one. But that's not the main reason Ryan and his wife did this. We would make eliminating uh, petroleum products a, a goal of our household. They can have all sorts of, of reasons for doing that. Aaron Choate is part owner of Revolt Electric Vehicles, a new Austin business. He takes cars apart and makes them electric, like this Porsche Boxster. This entire space was consumed by the six-cylinder Boxster engine, and we've taken it all out. Um, the engine, the exhaust, the fuel tank. The car is completely... Uh, Everything's been pulled out of the car. Aaron says a lot of people think electric cars are slow and weak, but actually, they're better. They, they are really quite powerful um, off the line. Um, it's, a, it's actually a relatively inexpensive way to get a high-performing, sporty vehicle. As I like to tell people, there are a lot more electrical outlets in the United States than there are gas stations. The cost to keep Brian Saturn charged is $10 per month. Even better, he recharges with the solar panels on his home. Brian hopes to save a little more money if TxDOT ever recognizes electric vehicles like his don't pollute. When you go for your inspection, right, they like to test your emissions. Yeah. And they're, they're, they see so few electric vehicles that it, it is not apparent to them what they have to do. So for now, he'll keep doing the emissions test. The conversion costs anywhere from $25,000 on the low end all the way up to $60,000 or more depending on how many batteries you want and how far you want to go. Nick Saccone in East Austin for the Fox 7 Energy Team.